So guys really, my family really had hope in me and I was hey my money is on this guy. Mm. <laughs> so I was now labeled hey who you who is that me a bika kabisa who is that. So hello guys, Karibuni tena to glow up or with Makena and your girl Makena. Kama kawaida cash press pale Instagram. Remember to like, subscribe, comment to this amazing amazing episode. Cuz today we are actually going to be having an amazing amazing soft spoken <laughs> soft spoken guy who is a very very talented DJ na wengine mnamjulia pale the trend live wanafanya na Amina Abdul Rabbar and they do such an amazing job every single Friday from 10 to you know late night they got you guys and we'll be listening to his amazing story to Joe Kidogo amezaliwa wapi melilwa vipi and we'll also be having a conversation around marriage we'll be having a conversation around mental health so you guys remember to stay tuned listen to the entire one cuz today we need more of Inspir- 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 inspiration. inspiration. <laughs> Hi, my dear. Hi. Hi, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Tell me, Nika Salama. Uh-huh. Are you always this soft spoken? I guess. Yeah, that's how I've been. <laughs> are you an introvert, by the way? What's your personality like? Uh, not really an introvert. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just, uh, I think I choose when to be an in- introvert and when to be an extrovert. But you, you can't be an introvert when you're a DJ. So you're an ambi kidogo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kidogo. I think ni kwapo katikati. Kwapo katikati. Mm. Okay, my dad transit kidogo DJ. Mm. Mm-hmm. Majina yako ya Mpesa. <laughs> ah, majina ya Mpesa. Let's talk about the Bali. You know where we start you guys. Yeah, anyway, my name is Eugene Dong. These are my real names. Hizo mm. mm. tu niko nazo tu. Kuna mbili tu. Eugene Dong. Yeah. Where were you brought up? Unazaliwa wapi? Where were you raised? Mm. Ah, uh, mimi zaliwa Marish from uh, now mm-hmm. stories from my mom eh marish ni hospital marish oh uh, unauliza ile hospital nilizaliwa no, ma no marish ah unaja sasa nini hivi watu watu wa uptown si ni kwa watu wa ghetto bana mimi ni mimi kenyeji uongo but eh uh, yeah ma, maringo oh, ni ajeriko oh okay. yeah get to eh yeah. that's in the ghetto that's in the ghetto yeah so i love to come move to west then yeah yeah okay. then i spent most of my life in madaraka hapo yeah. sando tuli move to kaka to grow up huko kwa na best huko nini yeah Okay, so umetaja west no you are west see our tree hey nairobi west so you are living a life you know not that you know yeah. whatever life but at least you are some are good right how did you okay it's see see complain by the itakuwa mbaya mimi ni complain nasema tu ilikuwa more like maisha leo kuna shida kesho hakuna That's a normal life but haikuwa timbaya vile. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right and then ukaenda shule wapi? Eh shule primary nilikuwa um, nilienda Langata Road. Okay. Yeye nilikuwa anapiga niwe ya Ruto for a while. I think standard 4 ndo nikaingia boarding school. Naivasha boarding. It was a very good school but very strict. It was crazy. Ukisikia my old boys atoka Naivasha boarding ko ilikuwa serious. And uh, yeah performance ilikuwa noma sana that's why my mom took me there mm-hmm. and then uh, high school nikaenda nenda shule mbili um, there was Baricho high school huko yes. kulikuwa na mambo mabaya sana and then my mom moved me to another school ilikuwa Muranga ilikuwa inaitwa Jombe high school eh no matembei Kenya eh tembea tembea Kenya eh uh-huh. eh uh, alafu then after that form 2 nikapele kwa Uganda Then when I did uh, form 2 baka nini 4 then I did a levels there uh, then after hapo sando nikingoja nini kujua kana nitaitwa makerere eh ndo passion ikakuwa imeingia sana nikaamua hata ukiniita there's no way me I'm going to uni for real uh, so uh, there's really no one i just used to love music mimi nilikuwa nasikiliza radio sana 
So actually, uh, radio influenced me. And I used to listen to Code Red at the time. I don't know Biggie. There was the, the biggest DJs at the time was Pinye and Adrian. Nilikona Fota Sana. And uh, that's where I got the inspiration. And I really just wanted to. Uh, I, I knew there's something in music that was just calling me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, I said before to Nembali Kidogo, you must have learned about the class four. You're a dad. Yes. What would you ever consider taking your kid? Body that early, you know, that, that's quite early. Mm, it was quite early. Uh, would you consider first taking your kid before even tell us the impact that it had on mm. yourself? Uh, as long as it's a, it's a good school, it depends. Hey, 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 I love to say, Sana, come on, boy, I'm a dame. Can you boy? Yeah. I think when the early is important because of the grooming you get from uh-huh. from there. Yeah, yeah, uh, I feel like, yeah, the, k- k- 50 50, yeah, depending on. Kama mimi singe 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 pele sisi pele kamtu wangu yacho yo na iwa shabu it was really crazy. Kwenye ni tuak eh tu eh eh tu kuna pigo daily we we we. Uko elikuwa discipline. They were really big on discipline. Na ulikuwa patata na most most of the time ilikuwa nationally ilikuwa na kujia number one to to five always. Hmm alliance ya primo eh. Yeah, it couldn't perform poor, and that's why my mom took me there. She really wanted me to 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 succeed. Lafu pia bro pia alikuwa mesumbua kidogo, so alikuwa nona eh huyu atakuwa the next the next ni ni sumbua so akavo idio shida. So it was more of correcting the. No, not really. Ni ile tu na ona tu eh I can't deal with two problematic boys. No, no, we're not two, we're three. Is a small sister. But it's always the black sheep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I, I mean, I feel really like I was not at first. I reject because I felt like, hey, man, they na pele kwa nini primary class four. Kana na nchuki yani na jua. Oh, you also. Oh, yeah. But uh, after some time, I realized that it, it was now molding me to be the man I am yeah. today. Yeah. Mm. Kuna point Yeah, I think yeah, I've always been a good boy. Yeah. Mm. But kidogo 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 hapa na pale iko second year. Ah so umesema kwenda campus. Mhm. So how did the journey start? Because you're such a big DJ in Kenya. Okay. List my DJ wa Kenya au mm. utakosa kwa hiyo list. Thank you. Um, so how how did the journey start? Yeah, so when I was done with the, my A levels, nili nilikuwa na hiyo mambo ile each to mm. just get more music ni kitu ya fast nilikuwa nilifanya was was a collector so just collect music I used to go and just get videos then that how nachukua videos na zileta back in Uganda or now you no, 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 when I was now back in Kenya oh, okay, okay. Uh-huh. yeah so you know time influence ya DJ kinshanza kuingia mm. so every time nilikuwa na mix ngoma tu kwa 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 mind yangu tu mm. nikiingia kwa mat na si ngoma najiambia ah hii ngoma inaweza ingia na hii hii inaweza ingia na hii So through that nikapata na na best yangu pia alikuwa amemaliza campo. So tuliko tu hapo tuko jiwe. <laughs> Tunatafuta hizi ma old jobs na fanya job moja hapa na pale. That's when uh, my friend also told me, "Eh hey, ni by the way utakakuwa na DJ." Kawaambia, "Pia unataka ku DJ so si tu basi tutafute." Yeah, it's called re I do yeah lingia oh. yeah ni ni oh, okay, okay. <laughs> job sector yeah, yeah. so kuna jamal kwa itwa re and we used to hang out with another producer alikuwa anaitwa Eric and um Eric alikuwa producer so pia ye alikuwa na hiyo passion ya, ya ku DJ so tuki hang out tuka realize ala by the way what do you DJ so so si tunde ka unit Uh, but before it the unit to run the deck not to run the cool and how to dj so kuna time tuko tumeenda na re homeboys 
Homeboys uh, Academy tukaambiwa ni about 35k eh kajua hii hata tukienda kwa maparo there's no way they're going to agree cuz me my mom really want me to go to uni uh, na uzuri bahati ni alikuwa in the UK at the time na eh, so nilikuwa at least na kaliwe kakufanya kitu nataka ku do so nika force yani nikajiambia ai acha acha mimi ni pasu kenya ni nataka ku do so eric's cousin eh, had had just finished eh, eh, his studies in the in the states mm-hmm. na alikuwa dj pia huko so akakuja na kila kitu but alikuwa ameacha ku dj alikuwa tu anataka ku pasu his other things na alikuwa na kadek so walikuwa na uzayo deck so we went tukachanga tukatafuta tafuta do tukabayo deck so after kubayo deck tukaenda tukajifundisha ku dj tu kwa room tu hapo na buy ma cd hiyo time eh eh ile hiyo time hiyo time technology iko in advance kasa hii so uko na collect cd every day unaenda na jaribu hii hii naingiana hii naingiana and eh Kajiba. As they say to uh, So you're like mm. more of a self-taught self-made DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. self-taught. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm. And this stuff is self made. You couldn't already me other people even to go go hapa kule. Yeah. Or what can you say was mm. your breakthrough moment? My breakthrough I think was um the carnival. The carnival was my biggest breakthrough. Yeah. Ama iko carnival. Ama iko carnival. Iko carnival by the way. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Ah uh, katika duma hasa zangu tu nilikuwa na nilikuwa always na najituma unajua bro my big bro told me how to just push myself end of jionge so kuna DJ alikuwa anaitwa Joji hapo uh, there's a club used to be called size jika he was done na jua but he was a hey about 10 nakubali tu eh about 10 years ago there was a very big club called size ilikuwa mm-hmm. inashika mbaya so mimi nilikuwa na dj kwa club flani hapo ya mogivi eh ilikuwa inaitwa rim rim club so nikishamaliza job huko nilikuwa naenda na piti hapo size piti hapo size na ongea na dj na mwambie hey bro kisikia kazi wewe niambie mm. and eh uh, akani link to DJs from LA so that's how somehow nilipata job kani cuz now uh, one of the DJs alikuwa um, uh, actually ili happen naweza sema kiflu kitu yani ni ni, ni god tu ndio kutuma nilimita wo DJ mmoja wa LA alikuwa na come audition one one day and uh, he told me to, to, to bring him here so nikamleta ikakuwa kumbe kulikuwa na audition za za ku DJ so he was like hey, by the bro you try pia eh mm-hmm. mimi nikajaribu na hapo ndo nilipata job hapa hapo sasa kanipo eh hapo ndo nilipata job hapa mm-hmm. eh yeah, 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 yeah. now i now mm-hmm. i connect with those ah yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah i love mm-hmm. sasa ukapiaji chachi you are also once Yeah. Yeah. official was it official yeah official mm. yes how did that come to be so kani uh, so nini came through through kani yeah, yes. uh-huh. so nikaingia job nika nika chapa for a while and then it happened that uh, the recording for chachi live mm. which now became chachi show will kuna record you up every tuesday at the time yeah. So me just used to come na piga tizi tu huko huko kwa container kuna container huko ya ya nini where we used to keep our equipment and uh, nilikuwa napiga tizi hapo sana and it happened that across eh uh, chachi alikuwa na kapo kwa gazebo so akikaa mana ka anasiza mziki tu huko hivi anasema eh how did you know so me siko natoka hiyo time ndio siko najua actually chachi ni nani i'll be very honest Um, so nikitoka tuko tunasalimiana tu eh nianze poa sana eh mimi napita naenda chukua lunch narudi najifungia na pick mimi napiga tv sana 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 so narudi huko then one day the official dj at the time alikuwa anaitwa Israel akakuwa ako na an event nje and um, wakaniambia ni ni, ni 
Kwa nika kamine, nika mziki yangu na ikakuwa ni... Ah, sana, wana realize. Ala, ujama kuna vila na blend na... na cause, cause you see now that was a production. See at club at unenu na pigia tu mziki. Yeah. So waka kuja waka realize, eh, na umse ana... Ana shikanisha hii production vizuri, yani... Ah, ika happen tu sasa... Chachil pia na enjoy, ana enjoy vila tu na work. And on that... The rest, uh, the rest is yeah. Yes. Mm. I am sawa. Mm. Um, I get all the things you're doing. Mm. But me, of course, there's a mama, so me, there's a wife, wifey, there's wifey. Yeah. So, do you mind telling us kidogo where you met? Mm. How the sweet love story came to be. <laughs> yeah. I think you know, you're telling stories. Mm. I don't know about bragging and making chicks face. Mm. For me, it's us encouraging. You know, marriage is good for people like me. Mm. So to show people that love still does exist. Yeah. <laughs> so how did you meet Mama? Um, we met in Mada. Mada Raka. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, you met him to Adam Bado. We were relatively young. Yeah. 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 Right. Very young. Yeah. <laughs> so he mambo tu ya ku DJ tu Bado. Uh huh. Yeah. Mzee sema nini tukutana tu Kwa hizi ma eh mahanye tu za za mtaani mm-hmm. and uh, yeah. <laughs> oh wow you're the really rest. trying to avoid that I can see and no 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 i can't recall fully oh, staki okay. niji oh. ni confuse ama nini but yeah we met in madaya in so madaya. Mm. how has it been it's been good um, of course relationships zina kuanga na na manini zake challenges zake but I, i thank god that we've remained friends and uh, we've been together up to date yeah what's the first thing you noticed about her mm. <laughs> <laughs> of course obviously eh uh, yeah, figure obviously <laughs> uh, smile nini hizo tu hizo vitu tu at tu Yeah. So okay, I think the uh <laughs> and then she was just uh una jeti le to love that love at first like no na to dem to know that's the one that's the one eh yeah. mm. mm. alafu ali kama kaniambia muziki yangu ina bo eh ali kama kaniambia excuse eh hey, this muziki uh, as well So I was like, "Hey, who do you mean? Nibana. Nibana." But I was like, "Yani, eh, mupenda challenge." Yes. Eh, so I was kind of jazzed. No, akuisema ina in a bad way, but to alko alto and I could kuniambia ile ya chill bana. Si si jichoche sana. Mzikia kwa tesia tinashika sana. But it was somehow a way of just telling me, okay, eh, changamka. Eh, eh, eh. eh. So how did that hate turn into love? Okay, of course it wasn't hate, hate. It wasn't hate. It wasn't hate. How did it eh. turn into love, Sasa? It was like, yeah, I need somebody who can challenge me like her. Because when I was talking about the camera, I was like, eh, DJ, I'm going to go, 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 Ah, eh, hey, eh, wezi. Ndio ndio ile kuna bamba wase battle fanta. Kunionesha ah, hey, I'm not I'm not everybody here. Yeah. I just tell it to your face, yeah. Uh, so did you like approach her later? Nataka sasa kujishikanisha hiyo. Tuli okay, tuli me once or twice later later. Yeah, yeah. Mhm. Mm. I'm sorry. Not really. Ah, hey, no 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 no. Uh-huh. Eh. Hey. She was no, oh, she was going to apologize. She said the truth. <laughs> Ah ya kauta uta 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 like sa was for like you nishida ko. Oh I love her attitude. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah that's why I loved her by the way. I was like oh, I need somebody challenge me like her. Yeah. Mm. Ah that's the she love your music right now. <laughs> like Ah uh, she's just like yo chill <laughs> buda sikutambui yani. As in and she's she's okay she yes yeah, she does. She does yeah. love what I do. Mm. But Mjesa eju she's my day one. Si wala ata ataku ka ka venye mafans you know how fans are. Eh mziki ni noma nini nini. Obviously her she won't be like a fan. Yeah. 
she will be like yeah you're killing it but she's always there just to keep me grounded yeah le buda relax ni relax eh bungiza eh eh and that's yeah you ndo kama na mumpenda do you need keep grounded yeah so how many kids do you have at the moment i have two uh-huh. um my son and and a daughter Yeah, one is 13, the other one is uh, 6 years. Yeah. Mm. So how has um fatherhood mm. defined or changed kidogo? Mm. I think uh, the biggest change for me in my life was my daughter because I got my daughter when I was 23 years old. Come dogo kabisa. Imagine. Ah, hey. Uh-huh. <laughs> so um vitu zili change because now you see when a baby now comes in una una chai mambo eh mambo yote nili acha uto ikitambo hiyo mambo ya kukaa kwa ma sijui nini nini. Uh-huh. Realize now hey I have a kid what do I do? Oh, hey. So ili ni challenge kabidi nianze kutafuta job your time. Na nikaacha hata ku ile ku hang around tu sana ilikuwa tu ni hustle yani so ulianza ku hustle kitambo yani so i'd say discipline it gave me a lot of discipline up to date imenipatia discipline because najua sasa siwezi kula tu hivi vile nataka sasa bila wewe alikuja akakwambia we are expecting someone and we are not married so yeah. like an ops baby but it's a mm. expected mm. it wasn't expected how, how did you receive the news Ah, it was crazy kwa sababu nalikwambia vipi alikuja na akakwacha tu hivi ama akakwambia let's go on a date let me tell you this one three ah so unajua tu mambo yenyu we need to talk so this guy we need to talk ah nikajua hapa there has to be something uh-huh. and then uh, time nilikuwa nimemaliza a levels everybody family wana they are really pushing for me to to go to uni makerere na ndio mimi nataka kuwa dj So now kila mtu anaona I um say ah uh, me change jumino like okay nilikuwa chopi ni nasema ukweli nilikuwa kachopi nilikuwa geek napenda masomo so yes <laughs> no but uh, so unajo alikuja eh hey, hey, a few years later alikuja ku realize so I was in the middle of all that na uh, guys didn't take it so well especially family because everybody was rooting for me to be that guy who who had to engage a pecaria akwe ni kwa takwa pilot oh um uh but sina mini pilot wa mambo ingine yeah so guys really, my family really had hope in me and all kwa eh my money is on this guy eh uh, so imagine your disappointment yote alafu sasa tena nina mtu So I was now labeled hey huyu huyu is a maridika kabisa huyu sasa. Huyu ameshinda fast So ilikuwa ilikuwa crazy. So but I had to prove, I have to prove myself. So how did you like break the news to your parents? I can imagine you come to the mom. When the dad took the phone. Should have got the ability of taking bad news. Yeah. How did your mom? How did you even approach any they look at the kona shule? Mm. Or is how did DJ alikuwa <laughs> crazy yeah. how did it happen oh i can't even remember how, what her reaction was but uh and my mom is she will support but obviously kitu kama hiyo it's it's elim kick kidogo unaja saa ko ile now i spent all this money alafu huyu tena Eh uh, I'm I'm but at the end of it will be too accept. Mm, it happen. Kabidi tu akubali tu. And you know the funny thing is when when you to put your stomach pema the kids become their your parents favorites. Yeah. Mm. How how did that happen I don't know. Ile chama kona ball kidogo mnafanywa. Yeah. Be be your own boss. Like mm. you can like eh hey, wala mm. chakuwa zika nae nyumbani. Yeah, wala well, end up kwa marafiki. Mm. Now they're best friends. I know. Mm. Sasa beba alikuwa in your time. Alikuwa? Alikuwa kampo because you're 23 so. Yeah, yeah, alikuwa kampo. Uh-huh. So pia yeye alikuwa ende kampo. Ndio uh-huh. mimi sasa nimefanya nimeharibu. 
Pieni tegemeo kwa familia yao. So that had to happen and uh ah uh, ilikuwa ngumu sana kuingia kampo. Eh uh, but so after, after after to get into it alianza sana ku, kuingia chuo sana uh, mm. Ah I'm sorry for that that was quite deep. It was yeah, it was hard it was hard yeah, yes. yeah but the challenges are life. Will pull through. Mm. Do you think that one actually pulled you closer with her? Yeah, yeah, okay, kuna unajua sasa what happens is eh uh, ukiget mtu huyu mkiwa yangu kuna kuna vitu mbo kwa mind. Number one ni eh nimeget mtu huyu as in sina life sasa. Sina life ati unajua ile period ya ati kukatiana ati nijue ni huyu niende kwa huyu si at kwa na hiyo. So we just had to focus on each other now. focus on each other eh, obviously at, at, at some point tulikuwa na hardship kwa sababu unajaribu ku provide for three people inakuwa ni so hard so kulikuwa na very many More challenges. challenges yeah very many but yeah uh, looking back you need to make kuja to a strong yeah. mm. i'm so proud of you eh, thank you thank you thank you thank you I have said to me of course we cause a place for ile swali what mm. like like mbona mko hapa mm. how did you learn your role on the trends you, do you appear to dogly you know oh, now yeah. we know you most is from the trend as well mm. uh, how did you learn your role on the trend um i think i learned the trend through through also chat your show oh, so i so i feel the like the uh, every every job ile ko ina nipate a job ingine wow. uh, so i was doing chat show at the time mm-hmm. And through that ju chachu shul ke na fanyo NTV I met guys from NTV made friends a lot for I used to come as a guest nikona nikona ingia nini sana trend yes, sana as a guest yes. eh. so at the time siko najua uh, ilikuwa some sort of audition this guys cuz uh, the previous DJ alikuwa amefanya for a while na pia alikuwa I think anaenda anaenda kuchomoka so they are looking for some blessing, blessing yeah, yeah. So they are looking for a DJ to fill in. Yes. So hiyo time siko na joni ni some sort of audition. Mimi ngo nafanya tu. Na kama napiga mambo yangu naenda zangu. And uh, it was after some time actually contract nilipata <laughs> after the pandemic. Guys don't know that. For real? Yeah, wow. I had to prove myself yes. for, for a while. Ndo uh, just when the pandemic hit is when now they called me and told me they had interests in me they being the official dj wow. mm. that was a blessing this case like like yeah. yeah 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 it was eh yani nilisema hiyo hiyo tu ni god eh ulipata pressure in the house na just orange is a blessing of that for some time yeah so uh, a lot of people mm. associated the trend with mm. uh, amina yeah it is blessing mm-hmm. ulipata ile pressure ya kutaka ya ya kukubalika you know pale kwa comment sections of like ah zi mm. 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 you know, you were like more of a face of the trend as well yeah. so was it really hard for you mwanzo ah uh, to be honest no cuz siko angalia hiyo mimi niko na angalia tu kenye god eh cuz pia ni convince ya tv through chat show ah, yeah. so naweza sema yani ni nilichukulia nili more of a blessing more of a blessing than than yeah and anything this, else una some two when you saw positive vibes pekee mm. uh, let me first ask ushe kwa depressed you see stress stress of course you need plan to quit stress yeah. but ile stress ni na kupeleka into depression something mm. at Mm. Uh, yes, I have been many times eh. Unajua saa ukiuki realize the definition of depression eh. Una realize eh, there's a point when you likuwa under but wewe mwenyewe uko na jua nini. Uh, for example kama your time ya yeah, fast ni get into here I was very young. Mm. Everybody was on my case like yo you've let the family down. Uh Yeah, I'd say your time nilikuwa so nilikuwa down kwa sababu hauna job nobody is willing to help you i mean obviously after mtu hivi alikaa kuna hiyo attachment what to get and i realize okay sawa tumsamehe 
kabisa at least support yeah wana nikabandolo mm. mekamekuja yeah yeah, yeah. kuna hiyo time na kuna hii um, time ya covid uh, i feel like uh, 90% of of are depressed um kwa at a point where you're doing gigs every weekend alafu all of a sudden always you provide uh your time ilikuwa hard but more than god cuz uh in every in every problem eh nimepitia more feel nika god unifungulia tu a way to come up with a solution na um let us say my place kama ikanivo through now what i learned here asal kwa mtfundisha ile ya in every point uko kwa shida eh unafaa kwa your most relaxed oh, yeah. yeah so that's how i learned to do it ni kwa jambia okay this is the problem what do we do what's the solution instead of now thinking like okay all is lost okay saa tumefunga what do we do eh uh, abolo is uh, headed to solution rather than uh, a dead end yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. so we've seen a lot of people committing suicide especially people in the media space man yeah and most not most but yeah the bigger number ni wanaume yeah. what's your take on men vulnerability and showing the emotions and just being humans yeah. men are also humans they're just not men they're humans we are well. we are we are you have your own feelings you have your own times that you cry you melt mm. down mm. you know what's your take on being vulnerable yourself Uh I feel like uh, it is important for for us to find uh fast people who understand us as who we are and that uh, just like you said we are human and uh I would like to say also rest in peace uh, what's his name DJ Lithium uh you see the problem with with, with us men is there's too much expected on us uh, like for example me i'm a father i'm meant to provide in my company i i have a fleet of DJs who expect to have gigs every now and then and then they're paid exactly so there's so much expected in us so i feel like it's always important to find a space where you can be vulnerable and not be judged it is always important for us to find that you can't obviously you can't be vulnerable everywhere because ukianza kulia hapa na pale watu 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 na kwa ni eh na kwa ni mimi ah umse ni mimi baya bana umse ni week but i feel like kuna hiyo space and it it, it is important ni ni muhimu utafute wala wasikuelewa wala wasikujaji ingi unakana unawaambia by the way iko hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi na vitu wenyewe haziko poa utakudanganya vitu ni at their worst and um you know so uh, they always say a problem shared yeah, exactly yeah so your space do na feel was wingi wa kawanaga eh cuz you are in a in a place where you gonna friends who are not really what you'd call friends eh, you're just living a certain life which is each doesn't uh, yeah which doesn't make sense and uh, i think pandemic you know shout wing that uh, 80% of the people you call friends are not really your friends you hang out with 20% no no so that 20% is that space you need to look for mm. what can you tell as your biggest achievement so far that moment you look back and go like yes mama i made it of course mekwana mingi but your biggest achievement so Ah, uh-huh. mm. ni more back here. Let's. Ile tu moja ni nalivinge. Karibu tu sema please let's go back in time and inside my like feel that's coming. Generally. I think my biggest achievement is being a dad. Yeah. As oh. yeah, that's your biggest I achievement. feel like yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And career wise sasa. Career wise um kama ni tatu gani umeplay ama kila kitu ulicheza kwa like Mm. I really want to play here and like, so it's coming to life. Hey, the mob. Okay, I can't put a finger on it. I think 
Uh, I would say now the current, my current status, which is the trend. Ah, that's that's my I biggest achievement. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that's coming. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Another one then. Another one. Another one. Uh, <laughs> Another one. Mingi. Uh-huh. Mingi. Top three. Yeah, top three. Uh-huh. Um, can I even remember? Uh, uh, I think, okay, uh, looking at the biggest platform I've ever yes. been to, um, Kuna Kids Festival we did with the Churchill, yes. and we had four, forty thousand people attending. Wow. So I think you know, as I could consider that as one one of them. Uh, and the other one is also Churchill Show, which was a big platform for me. And Sidari uh, Neza kwa ninge fika apa kasi kasi Churchill there. I had the craziest thing, hmm. a fun. Mm. I'm fine. Of course, you understood it's out of love. Come on, I did the job. I'm not sure. It's a come on, you're too going to watch it. Yeah, I'll tell you, I'm sure. And it's from nowhere on a brain and papa gets on a chaser. Yeah, so what's the crazy thing? Why we come at DJ? Of course, for clubs, you know, people are sick. I'm talking about yeah, everywhere. You know, what's the crazy thing? We're fine. You are either on okay, in the tongue, the marabili on your line of duty. Now, Pia, he let you run the means to not enjoy and of course, for barabar and. They overreact. It's a overreaction. Out mm. of love, of course. But I, I'll cross boundary. Okay. Um. Uh. You. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mwish. I think. Ni. You happen. Mara mo. Eh. Madame. Ku. Ku. Ku hagum se. Oh my God. But say ni in the clubbing ni in kaida. I think the craziest thing she happened. Ni, I think kuna demo niambia ni sign kwa nini kwa materials hey uh-huh. uh, yeah, yeah, uh, 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 I don't know declines. yeah I politely declined yeah mm. uh-huh. yeah <laughs> I love that one yeah uh, the other one is okay I don't have to go to my brides and it's all happen Hey, hey. Almost all DJs. Mm, mm, wow. Uh-huh. Mm. Mwajua, madimu wakisha pita yeah. some mpaka flani. Yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> Ina kwa It's just yeah. crazy, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, so, uh, before we close up, mm-hmm. what's that one thing that you do? Mm-hmm. Because you seem very shy. Like, you seem shy, crown, connected, and you do. Oh, you know, you're always in the world. I didn't talk about it, but since you looked out, you look. Not that you go easy, you mm. know, like relax. Mm. What what's one thing that you do that we don't know that you do? That you look behind closed doors. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's a crazy thing, you know, maybe dancing, it could be singing out loud. What do you do in private? Mm. And you always find a your personality. I mean okay, you see what happens is um kuna sa uyu mimi na ungana um a co chilled, but there's now the DJE that comes out the yes. Kingia Codex. That's another whole crazy person. Yeah. Ni extrovert yo. Ana bibambanga na watu ni 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 ku. Yeah, I think kuna balance to so. Craziest demo we pokea. Eh. Di ana job process on the video. Ezoni mob. But ile ile ilikuwa like uwe. Mm. Ngona audacity uko nje. Any mob, ni mob. The worst. Uh, you see, most of most of them are, uh, are crazy because you know, any fun. I got too obsessed. I get. Ah, no, 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 no. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. So mostly in conversation. Most, mostly in conversation. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wow. Uh-huh. Have you lost It really? happens, yeah, yeah it uh-huh. happens. Um, the day you happen that I'm um, not interacting, I'm too, 
uh, after kuongea anaenda kwa page yako alafu na realize kwa marriage you you don't hear from her again <laughs> for real yeah it happened before many times yeah but ni kawaida ni kawaida you see i feel like uh, ni better hivyo um my job zingine za ukam but yeah cuz it's it's bad to to have such an industry where you mtu akuangalia cuz of your merit and akuangalia cuz they want to gain something from you and that's there kuna wengine pia utakado uh you obviously is of favors but unafanya mambo yako tu wewe unafanya mambo yako eh Yeah, she's just crazy on her own way. The, yeah, she's very her. funny. Uh, uh-huh. yeah. I'm not really preparing her. I just want her to first of all understand how it is, yeah. And just be herself through it but eh uh, pole pole because it can really it gonna advantage advantages zake and disadvantages zake eh yeah. so bana nataka amalize shule kwanza yeah. ah acha amalize shule eh tumalize na e kwanza but yeah, even now um <laughs> nataka akifika age 2 anaweza anaweza control emotions in terms of uh, how people people <laughs> receive yeah, yeah. Uh, how people judge you yeah. how people treat you huko yes. kwa mtandao eh yeah. uh, naweza taka kwanza i understand kwanza uh, before i ingie yeah. mm-hmm. which god do you serve which grace mm. do you walk under ama yeah. atujai kuona kwa gobare lifestyle lifestyle za watu wengine ndo vitu zinawalipa and hizo uh, ni vitu zina happen hata kwa majuni actually, actually hata majuni even worse it's even worse but eh uh, mimi na thank god to sinanga shida na mtu staki shida mimi na kufanya kazi yangu yeah so when you stand all cash up na million followers will you ever consider just clouds kama kosa umeongelesha bibi kama ongea bibi creative kama uko na enough creativity in, in, in you na god have put a creativity you can use that to get the all, all the amount of audience you can get and that's what i use that's my weapon ah uh, mambo ya cloud chess especially at east africa it's short lived so the problem with cloud chessing ni haya ufanye cloud chessing ya kwanza you need to live up to the next one the next one mpaka sai sai kuna namba kama tunapiga picha mtu akiwa in labor in 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 hospital so ita itafika mpaka wapi una get eh so haya ushapiga hiyo hosi so lazima utafute nyingine tena itopio unaona i feel like we just our industry is not we're not pushing for creativity enough unaona creativity as in you you ndo kitu always if you push that guys guys will always follow that yeah 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 cloud chasing is short lived always it will always be short lived yeah i have biggest regret biggest regret um i really don't have any i have lessons yeah i feel like most of my life it's it's been lessons i can't 
look at it as a regret, yeah. it's always a lesson. Yeah. Mm. Did DJ alongside amazing, amazing season four. Mm-hmm. Top three favorite and see when you leo ngiambiwa inenda to my dream for like 10 years just try with this this three hype masters you know in our world who will do to top three of course Kenya Kenya MC MC is most of my hype you understand mm. uh i don't even have three see okay, see me one, me one i think uh, good man Gudaman is really good, yeah. Uh, I feel like he's one of the best in Kenya. Yeah. Mm. Thank you so much for your time, my darling. Thank you. Thank you so much for me. You're an amazing woman. Mm. Uh, to the parting shot, send love to your fans and family. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, all love. Manze, ni follow pia mini ko YouTube. <laughs> DJ E Kenya. Do you uh, know that? Let me cut you short. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Right. Yeah, no, okay, I haven't done on my platform. Mm-hmm. I've done a couple, but... Uh, in the near future, I'm planning to set up live uh, mixes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So DJ E Kenya, um, love to your fans. Follow her, man. She's doing uh, an amazing thing on YouTube and um, Instagram at e the DJ, uh, Twitter at e the DJ two five four DJ E Kenya uh, DJ E the turntablist on Facebook and. Uh, all love, all love, all love. Tantablist, very nice. Tantablist. Um, Tantablist name anatomia tantables. Comes it's derived from the word tantable. So tantable, tantable ni one of the oldest uh, players oh. in the in the game. Nayondo, how can I put it? Uh, most DJs from the from the past have used that in I, I would put it as um some kunajua kuna benzo okay kuna kuna range uh-huh. lafu kuna uh, vits oh yes. so unajua so zote zinaenda yes. zote zinaenda yes. no get okay. but kuna levels so sasa eh yeah 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 turntables yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. using turntable i think that's the you know the end game kwa kwa dj oh. That's amazing. Mm. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you too. You guys make sure you subscribe, like, comment. Subscribe to Glow Up with McKenna. Yes. <laughs> Aya, thank you so yeah. much. Thank you for your time. Thank, thank you. you so much, you guys. Make sure you tune in to NTV, uh, The Trend, mm-hmm. every Friday. When I come alongside my babe, my amazing, amazing human, Amina Abdul Gabar. And you guys, subscribe, like, Willem Nambiwa, listen to his mixes. I call you to peer in yeah. DJ the Tantablist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you know, now you know. I'm sure you guys now you know as well. Mm. And thank you so much to my videographers, Riz Entertainment Gang, Manu and Aviko. And Leo, we were shooting our uh, this episode, this amazing episode. In Mandarisaki, it's called Carnival Ground, Upper Simba Salon. And you guys, come on to Mandarisaki, Luambia, just hit me up on the Instagram, Cash Grace, and I will definitely reply to your dm and we can negotiate trust me we are not expensive we are very affordable <laughs> super partnership point will definitely pull up you guys thank you so much until next time god bless me next comment section the conversation does not end here as we always say we can always communicate on our social media handles now thank you thank you thank you, thank you. <laughs>